Oh, hello, hello. Anna, why are you still gone? So lonely up here now. I can't even get drunk because you stole the stein. <laughs> the stein of beer. Anyways. It seems that the valley dwellers are divided into two factions. They call each other the pirates and the pioneers. Both camps similarly respect the word of some teacher, but seem to differ in its interpretation. The pirates are more aggressive, while the pioneers more isolationist. Yep. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have... Today we're playing another episode of Metro Exodus. We are back sneaking through and seeing where we end up in this wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump in here and see what happens, shall we? Shall we now? Yes, I forgot to we were forgotten. Stupid mother freaking snake. Uh huh. Uh huh. What is this way? Ah! I hate being drugged. What he'll do this to me? No. Absolutely not. Where does this go? Is this the way I'm actually supposed to go? I don't understand. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna see what this is. Actually, yet one. A dog. Hello, little squammy, wormy little thing, my Baba. Can I have my arrow? I just pulled it towards my face. <laughs> it's so weird. Where's is this? Okay, wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. What is the other direction? Well, I feel like this is actually the way I'm supposed to go, so what is... <laughs> Stay away from me. What? Where am I? Hello, friend. Mavatos. Alright, I don't want to go through there yet. So does this send me to the other end of the cave? I feel like I should come to the exit of the cave any moment now. Oh, so it comes out of here. It might come out of there. Alright, alright. I will meet you back at the cave, okay? I'm gonna go see what the cave leads. Alright, so I'm back in the cave. Let's see where this leads. I hear people talking. What the heck? Alright, did I just murder someone at the down here? It's a pirate. What the frick? That was a pirate that was dead right there, I assume, because he had the pirate thing on him. Guys, I'm at the 
lower farm with about 30 bandits. I've been leading them from the road. Uh, we'll hold them for half an hour, maybe. Losing too much blood, I'm sending the letter back one little one back with this message because he couldn't leave otherwise good luck guys siri 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 i don't know if that's what i mean it's not all right so what exactly happened let's see where is this gonna end up at Both lead to the same place, basically. For the most part. <laughs> this one just gives you more information, I think. And it's starting to get day again, which is a bad, bad thing. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, fuck. It's Crowbar. He's all dried up, but I'm sure. And there's Locke. And the other boys from the third barrack. Where the hell are these fuckers hiding? Nowhere. Don't worry. The two we got will talk soon. No, these fuckers never talk. You're darn right, they never talk. Okay, moving on now. Bandits. A bandits. And the bandits is not one of them. Where the heck am I? Me. I should have went the other direction. Oh, this is bad. Do all of you have to say the same thing at the same time? My God, stop repeating! This place is bad news. Any greenhorn could get me here. I have no idea where I'm going, but I assume we'll eventually get somewhere in a minute. There's a hole. Just hold a second. Is this where I'm supposed to go? No. Oh, I can get out. All right. I want to, um, I don't think I'm ever going to make it back out there, but I want to go back, um, over here and go through that gate that that is. Oh, I will meet you guys there. Maybe. Is this just a, a way around the easy way?
There is a lot of death here and a sad music. Okay. A few crows. Yeah, this is basically just a way around. I gotta fight you. Really? Really, I gotta fight you with this? Oh, this is gonna be pain, pain, pain. <laughs> This is just cheating. This is cheating. Cheating! I'm gonna die. Run! Run, Artyom! Run! Run! Run, Artyom! Just run. Can I possibly just cut this rope? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness indeed. I was dead now, but... Sorry, friend. I gotta get, uh, uh, whatever his name is, I forget his name it is. I gotta get him, but after I get him, then yes, I will meet you there, Miller. Anna. Where the heck am I? Whose house is this? I mean, it is a shitty place for sure, but... Oh, that's not a bed. I was hoping that was a bed. I figured this would actually be a bed, but apparently not. I mean, what does this generator do? Oh, you're out of fuel, aren't you? Why is it always out of gas? It's always out of gas. So, we meet again, though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My oh, name is Olga, by the way. Hello, Olga. Was it you fighting the master of the forest? Awesome. Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn uh -huh. it. Sorry, teacher. The locks all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's council session, the pirates moved to attack your train, but they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind. 
but that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed, so just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alosha and I took the boat from. Teacher, forgive me. There are some left, but be careful. Okay. Well, Drifter, take care. Will and do. don't make me sorry I helped you people. All Tell right. Alosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. This is great. All right. Well. Why, why can't I sit? Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. Yes. Do you mind if I smoke? No? Okay. I'm and gonna... I'm stuck in thought here. Once the master decided to haunt the vicinity, people all but stopped coming here. Because they haven't forgotten. The teacher raised us all. Taught us how to survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all belong dead. So the girls used to come here every day, and the boys still make it from time to time. Even Roman does visit, though it was because of him that the teacher left back then. Most of us went on a trip down the river. There were just a few people left on duty in the camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. Once we and the younger group were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves alone. The elder boys were nowhere to be seen. Okay. We helped the teacher with burying ours. It was dark already when the boys returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood. You could only see his eyes and teeth. Then they started talking. What did they Trading talk about? was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were deer. Well, that seems horrendous. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything. Anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. All right. Come morning, he was gone. <laughs> to this church. At first, he wouldn't speak to anyone. But us girls kept checking up on him. Just to bring him some berries, or ask for advice, and gradually he started speaking to us. Still, he was like a different man, so distant. And is he alive? He never talked to the older boys anymore, though he'd reply to their letters, and to the rest of us who'd keep visiting him, he would always say we had to become their conscience. Keeps them from becoming monsters. But how do you do that? And they didn't stop at that either. Started calling themselves pirates, made the floated lumber mill in the swamp their private HQ. Then they started hanging bandits from the posts, calling them musts. One day they took about 10 bandits alive and used them to test all the boys, made them kill the bastards. None of ours could do it. And they all got called cowards for that. And then got ostracized. That's how the pioneers came to be. You okay? Of course, they all calmed down by now. They are talking to each other, at least. But back then, only Luda and I could speak for the teacher at the council meetings. Makes sense. I'm just gonna keep smoking. In the end, Luda and a few boys just couldn't take it anymore and left. I wonder if they found a better place to live. I still keep checking the radio hoping to hear from them. They probably did. 
I don't know that, but probably. Nice temple you have here. The teacher hoped too, but that hope didn't last long. They left in July, and in September he shot himself. Mm. That seems to get through to Roman. He got calmer. Some of the elder guys went over to the pioneers. After all, the important thing is that we stay together. So... So now I have an important voice at the council. Cause I can kick ass if they don't listen. <laughs> and not just because they're not supposed to hurt girls. A fair fight is a fair fight. Thing is, the only one I lost to in a fair fight was Roman. And even then, I gave him a blue eye he had to wear for a week. <laughs> that earned his respect. The one I had the most trouble with was the Admiral. He was Roman's right-hand man. Wouldn't leave the lumber mill no matter what. Kept saying we must defend it, if we don't want the mutants to eat the whole valley. But the radiation levels kept climbing there. Roman checked it with the counter himself. So at one council meeting, Roman and our instructors had everyone vote against the Admiral. And the pirates went on to build a new fort near the shore, where it's still okay to stay. The Admiral would have none of that. So he and his most hardcore flunkies stayed at the mill. I never heard from them again. Radiation's not to be played with. The teacher didn't burn us all for nothing. So now, without the Admiral, there is nobody who dare give me any trouble in the Council. I'll put a leash on them tonight, alright. Don't you worry. I just need some time to gather my thoughts. I don't like politics, really. You could listen to the teacher's diary if you like. He kept recording it. As if he knew. Yes. I must have heard it a hundred times already and still... We let him down. We really did. Nah, oh, you didn't. I don't really know, but I don't think you did. Anyways, that was his recordings over there. I was wondering why I couldn't play it, so I had to wait until I talked to you to replay it. Makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna go listen to it. You done talking? Alright. I guess you're done talking. Alright. Yeah, now I gotta listen to it. The radio's silent. My last hope for giving them a positive goal, <clears throat> leading them out of this forest dead end, was a complete fluke. Where did I go wrong? How could these great, talented, active, brave, honest, friendly children, who would actively seek justice, turn into monsters? Sure, I'm no Pestalozzi, but I did all I could. And even more. I gave them all, my soul, my life, and uh, what did that result in? Uh, a society of shut-ins, who only respect strength and are no less cruel than the bandits they fight. Yes, some of them kept their purity, shrugged off the bad influence, and ended up leaving. I gave them all the fuel I had. But how few they were, most changed. Could it be that in this world, that routinely changes even the harmless animals into nightmarish freaks. Mankind simply has no future. W what is there to hope for? What's the point of even going through the motions anymore? I do not know. Mm. Well, at tonight's consultation, I'm going to remind them all what the teacher thought in the end. <sighs> I'll give them a piece of my mind. Go for it. Did the teacher save us all so that we could just attack people? Defending ourselves is one thing. But attacking? They can't deny that. And we'll have to stand down. Those pirates. Oh, boys. <sighs> yes, the pirates are terrible. Alright, are you done? I guess you're done. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on now. Uh, thank you for your help and all that, and have a wonderful life. Bye bye. I will get down here without breaking my leg.
Can I get down without breaking my leg? Uh. Alright, there we go. Wait, is, is this right? I guess this is right. What did I stand on that there for a minute? Alright, where am I going? Over there. Alright. Well, this is an interesting place. I kind of like it. The children of the woods. So I did get it right in the first one. Why am I talking like this? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't know what it took, but sure. Wait a second. Wait a second. Can I add more arrows to my... Oh, yes. All right, now we're talking. Now I can shoot four shots at once. Oh. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep tonight. I know I don't have time and all, but I'm gonna sleep tonight. The roar will still be there by, you know, time night comes. I like how I actually never go to sleep. I just sit here and blink into the... Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Should I kill everyone? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going this way. This is just... There's so many paths and they get to the same place. Can't keep up which one I'm supposed to be taking, which one's, you know, anything like that. I didn't miss them to go that way, because, like, you know, it's already there. I love this Velociraptor grass. Clever girl. Can I cross this log? Okay. I was on the spot there. So why the hell did you send your give away that boat? You're no pirate now, but a dirty land lover. I can't wait till I run in some Have you seen her? Had she asked, I'd carry her to that lumber mill myself and be grateful. Yes, Olga is amazing. I'd carry her anywhere, anytime. But what is she thinking, helping that intruder? Yeah, the Outlook saw them when they were almost there already. I don't get this. Olga helps an intruder get into the Deadlands. They also let the second intruder get away. The they didn't let me do anything. I get away by myself. Hey, you know where everyone's at? Can't find nobody. Our instructors want to talk They're off to catch the that drifter. They already caught him once. I heard someone even got his instructor's badge over that. But then the drifter just beat it. So what if he did? There are guards and traps at every path now. He stole a boat, that's why. The guys were oh, that close one. Jeez. This is a little more intense than the other one. Alright, I think if I go this way... Big fish. Big ugly fish. Not go this way. Please do not turn around. Oh, this is in badly. You're not going to see me.
How am I going to sneak up there without being spotted by um? Gosh darn it. Don't see me, don't see me, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Oh jeez. What hey, what's over there? Let's check it out. Ah, nobody again. No luck again. Oh god. Yes, it's way better than the wolves. What if I just... <gasps> Climb up here? This is this gonna be a bad idea? Let's find out. I don't know how that guy didn't hear me or see me or anything. Sora, do you know if anybody went to the church today? I don't think anyone did. Why? I heard shooting like there was no tomorrow. Thought it was the bandits again. Then I saw the trees falling. Someone got the master mad. I heard that too. That was definitely not one of our guys. We've no fools here. <laughs> how did you hear a crossbow? Yeah, must have. Do you think he got away? All right. I know what to do. Yeah. I doubt that. The master doesn't joke around. Mm. Yeah. I'm always there. How do you see anything with those flames in your face? Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Moving. Moving. Oh yeah, this is the boat house. I know because of that. It's always on the boathouse. What can I even defend here? I sure don't know. Why oh, did I get a boat from down here? I would assume I get the boat from down here. But there's no boat down here. Means I must go up. Uh, as if the intruders would come here. The wolves could, that's for sure. Okay. Let's go this way. There's a guy. What are you about to do? You about to move? Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, why would the intruders want to go here? The wolves are a different story, though. Alright, I need to get in there because I see the lever in there. So I'm, uh, I'm going to quick save here just in case it's the lever like the in the other place. Or when I pull it, and you alerts everyone, and when that guy comes out, good guy, come on, you can do it. Come on out. There we go. Why did they put me here? The instructors know better, of course, but still. Okay, let me just sneak right around here. And see what this does. What's that? Huh? What's that noise? I'm screwed. 
this something. There was no way I was thinking about that. That shadow. This is something's wrong with me today. I just imagine. What's that? Guys, there's a. Th <laughs> ah, it's darn you. All right, let's let's see. Uh, all right, let's try this. Let's try this differently. Let's try this differently. Why do I have to stand here? Where are, you, where are you at? I guess you just work down, so I'll wait until you go back the other direction, and then I'll sneak in there and do it. No, I just gotta wait for this guy to leave. Oh, frick me. Oh, frick me. Oh, flip. Frick. Flip. Flippity fuck. Fork. Out. Doubt. Leave. Ugh, this place makes me gives me the creeps. That's what it does. Oh, freak me. Right down. Let's hit the boats down here. It's a boat down here. And I don't see a boat anywhere. What's the point of standing here at all? I won't even have anywhere to hide if the master of the forest comes. I assume I'm supposed to go on that side over there, aren't I? God freaking darn it. All right. Well, I got this far. Let's save here. Next way, this is not where I'm supposed to go. There will be a reckoning. You hear me? A reckoning, I tell you. Why am I even at this place? What? Huh? Who's that? So the boat is over there. Oh, Something's wrong with me today. Flip me. Doing this thing. Wait, it just saved here. How is this gonna work? Uh, I hope I don't have to stay here for long. This place just sucks. You suck. Who saw me? You saw me. Do you change positions? Them up there. Is there a way to turn that light off? If you turn the light off, that might help something. How do I turn the light off? Can you turn the light off? Something 
I'm sure I saw someone here. I saw him. Come on, man. Nothing yet again. Squirrels, I guess. I think there's something down there. Oh. You never know what it could be, but I have to check it. I'm gonna regret this for sure. Why would the intruders want to go here? The wolves are a different story up there. You're not seeing anything. Oh, okay. <sighs> All right. Well, this is the first time I need my mask this whole entire time. Thank goodness I made it out of that. Wait, did I just need the boat to get over here? Is this really all I needed the boat for? Kind of pirates are you if you're doing a boat to go five foot? There goes nothing. <laughs> Is this pirate territory too? <laughs> Hello, friend. Let's see what attachments do I get this time? Oh. Yes, please. Alright. Going down. Because I am. You better run. You disgusting shrimp, you. You're eating your own kind. What is wrong with you? Is it raining? Well, that's a new feature. Where the heck am I? I have no clue where I'm at. Wait, where am I going? Am I going down into something? That seems like a terrible idea. I get all you babies. Well, it looks like we're going down, and I don't know what's down, and I'm probably going to leave this mi this mission, this episode here. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this so short thing. It probably will be short, but I don't really know, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.